I started having what I would assume were contractions. The memories are haunting. Mind-numbingly painful. Leslie Valladares of Torrance is having to go on a journey, traveling 400 miles to the only doctor who's been able to help her. Leslie's a nurse, a pediatric RN, but she's been unable to find help closer to home for years. Everybody is basically telling me I'm not supposed to be in pain, but I am. Leslie's symptoms started when she was just 12, every month along with bleeding. This excruciating pain. She saw one gynecologist after another about her painful periods. They would tell me, yes, mine's like that. Yep, it's very painful. We just all have to go through it. That's what being a woman is. The message was clear. Suck it up, deal with it. We all do it. You can do it too. And I just thought, you know, something was wrong with me. Why can't I handle this pain that everyone else seems to think is normal? It wasn't normal, but she wasn't alone. Leslie has endometriosis or endo, a disease that impacts one in eight women. There's a lot we don't understand about it. Dr. Andrew Cook is an endometriosis specialist in Los Gatos, California one of just a handful of doctors nationwide who've devoted their careers to studying and treating the disease. Endo, he says. It's tissue that's similar to what we find inside the uterus, and it gets outside. It can grow through the bladder. It can grow up in the, the liver, the diaphragm. It can be horrendous. But it's often hard to get help. Most physicians don't get very much time in medical school being taught about it. Women can wind up stigmatized when they complain treatment doesn't work. Leslie had her first endo surgery in 2005. Three months later, the pain came back. And when she told her doctor... He told me to look into fighting this pain medication addiction that he thought I had. Leslie, a nurse, was labeled a drug seeker by a doctor she trusted. It literally felt like he turned on me. Endometriosis tortures people. It doesn't kill them. But there's times you may wish it would kill you, you know, because it just basically robs you from a normal life. Patients travel to him when nothing else works. We deal with tough cases. On average, patients have been through three or four surgeries. I'm the fourth or fifth surgery they've had. His approach? I'm treating it with the same techniques as we would treat a cancer. Surgeons typically burn away what they can see. Dr. Cook says that isn't always enough. You need to get around the lesion and cut it all out. If it's not all removed, it'll come back just like if you don't get all of the cancer out. Dr. Cook's meticulous surgical technique can take hours and it doesn't come cheap. Treatment can cost up to $10,000 out of pocket, but Leslie has no regrets. It almost feels like I woke up from this nightmare that I had for so long. She now spends most of her time providing care rather than needing it herself. I feel like I've gotten this huge piece of my life back. I feel free. A telltale sign of endometriosis, severe monthly cramping that gets worse and worse as time goes on. We have more information on how it's diagnosed and where to find support. It's all on our website, cbsla.com. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS2 News.